My weak, frail lungs cannot handle this much smoke from a cheat. But anyways, welcome to the OC Philippines National Social Media 4K 7K Tournament 2024. The first stream of the tournament is the 285 lot. Regina Mang and so what's the else in the, in the commentary booth and joining us later will be Snow as well. Hello. Hello. It's really nice to be accompanying you in this qualifiers bubble showcase today. I will be commentating for the 4K map pool. Only the 4K one. I don't know anything about the 7K one yet. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's like a lot of interesting stuff that happened over the past year um, from the previous tournament. And like the, and like the best part is like the, the player roster has started to has started to diversify themselves. Um, like the skill ceiling also raised up like from the previous year. Okay, uh, I know. Um, there's like a there's like a push to like just push the players a little bit. Although I will say there is a very important change on the 4K map pool. That I think everyone is already aware of, right? Should I drop the bomb now, or should we just let the showcase speak for itself? I think we should let the let the charts speak for themselves, indeed. Uh, but which do we which do we go first, though? All what right, all right. Four K or seven K first? What? 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 I wonder. I want. I for this time, I want to ask the chat first. What do you all want to see? We're seeing lots of, lots of, uh, no? lots of interaction with the chat. Yeah, so, so I'll give the final call to you. So we see a lot of 7K. All right, 7K, 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 and then 4K, 4K, 7K, 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 4K. Like a lot of them are saying, we should give the floor to 7K because you know viewer retention. Like the usual. Let's that cut off the middle, man. Let's make it 5.5K. How about that? I mean, yeah, okay, but no, uh, right. but yeah, but okay. So, we've heard, you've spoke, we've heard the masses, 
everyone! Are you ready to see the showcase for the OSIP Philippines Million National 2024 with everyone giving whatever chemo they want to see first? I know that we have said that we've heard the masses, but we will be starting with the 4K qualifier showcase. Alright, so let's go to stage okay. number one. No real redemption here. So we're starting off with the Contortionist Reimagined, stage one. The name is Breathe Again. You expect this stage to be the SV stage because it's stage one after all. Let's see if this stays true for this year. Well, let's see. Let's see what this map has to offer. And honestly, first thing I have to say, I think the star rating of this is like a 3.8 star. But that is certainly not a, a, the true rating of how difficult this file really is. Because you're going to be thrown in with a lot of technical patterns. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of rolls and streams in here. But of course, at the very start, there's not really going to be showing a lot of it yet. Mm -hmm. So as you guys can see, we do not have an SV stage for our 4K map rules this year. And we instead have an entirely new qualifiers map rule structure, which also extends to the bracket map rules as well. And starting off with this rice stage, we can see a variety of tactical patterns mapped very loosely to the vocals. It's really freeform. It's also expressive. It, you know Epic Man 2 with his expressive bright stump style and this is a nice little representation of his iconic prince. Yeah. Well, I'd like to add as well that this is OD 8.5 if I'm not mistaken. And I did say that this is a 3.8 star, but do not let that star rating fool you with how difficult this can really be. It's not a short map either. Not exactly sure how long this is, I forgot, but it's still a big test of consistency. You gotta be really careful for every moment. You have to make sure that you are able to hit these patterns because their accuracy is certainly gonna be one of the biggest factors here. But now, we're reaching a sort of a break section. Still a lot of parts where you could easily choke and drop some 200s here. Honestly, you can choke accuracy anywhere in this map, except for the more linear part, I guess. Um, you have weird, volatile, rest dump patterns. You have OD 8.5. Where is the accuracy mercy here? Mm -hmm. so yeah, Just waiting for end of this file it's still a really challenging file at the end because you're thrown with some anchors here and there some trills which you have to on very much so as time passes on this is gonna get really challenging for everyone to just hit properly now at this point stamina is gonna be a big factor and i can definitely see some players have having some sort of focus drop because once the later part of the part hits, salmon is really going to be a bigger factor. It's going to be something that it's going to be one of those intangibles, really. Yeah, and especially just because it is a bit longer. I do think salmon, like you said, it's going to be a really big factor, which can kind of in turn result in maybe like a few grades here and there, especially with kind of some of these truly transitions. Mm -hmm. I mean... I also like to add, like before we go to the next, before we go to the next file, why we don't have an SV qualifier this time around was, well, of course, it does kind of suck that skill set, but in order to reduce the stress level from, decided to just remove the SV category entirely and focus more on other categories, which will be tested for this tournament considering the skill set is now gone. But then. 
Let's proceed with the next category. It's gonna be Island 1. I tell you, this is a very challenging file to play. So yeah, this is Monkey Business Satire Mix created by LZ Fanboy, also known as Snow. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess since you're the one who made this map, go ahead and describe it for us. Yeah, so this is going to be your more coordination heavy map, and it's obviously going to be kind of testing your ability to kind of hold LNs for uh, a longer period of time than you're kind of used to, and just a lot of tricky uh, LN patterning as well. I mean, starting off, you do kind of see some of these LNs uh, going into kind of like inverse shields starting very early on. And you'll kind of see uh, this kind of trend going on throughout, uh, especially as we kind of get into a little bit of a more faster part coming up here. It is true that when it's faster, it's going to be more challenging. Does remind me of a certain MWC 4K qualifiers map. I think it's um, Critical Cannonball made by Ravel for the 2022 season. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I told The Snow similarity specifically. I see here is that the patterning is not exactly release focused, but there is a mix of both, but mainly on coordination with those 10 patterns and the utilization of awkward inverse patternings as well. Yeah. Though, aside from those, you may also have to encounter some weird mapping grace, Ellen Graces. I would say those are the trickiest parts in the map in terms of accuracy choking, just because of how awkwardly placed it is. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, it is taking a lot more focus on the coordination aspect, like kind of this uh, little drop here, where you do see these kind of like staggered three elements, but they all pretty much have the same release as the main focus is primarily coordination. And you do see some release mixed into it, obviously, just because it is uh, a coordination pick, and you'll be just having to hold a lot of elements at the same time, but it isn't the main focus. And I think most of the app that you'll kind of lose will mo be mostly just from like these really tricky transitions between LN. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, when when Lot said okay. critical cannonball, We're... I actually. There's still a long way to go with this qualifiers map four. We shall proceed to the hybrid stage now. Mm -hmm. So before, mm -hmm. like, I, I, just, I just I just remembered like, Lot saying about critical. I did specifically tell, I did tell Snow that that's a map that he could That certainly was executed. Like what he said, let's proceed to stage 3. And I tell you all this, this is going to be one of the most unorthodox stage 3s you've probably ever seen. And it's, it may be OD 6.8, but man, this file is very challenging. And I can't wait to see how everyone's gonna perform here. I tell you, even even as someone someone like me, it's going to have a really difficult time. This map is hell. This is coming from a um, technical hybrid main like me. I struggle on this map, literally. I had to personally tell Jerwin to nerf the OD to 6.8 because it's so tricky. It's literally as El said the most un one of the most unorthodox hybrids in a tournament context and as you guys can see it is reflected very directly through the irregular releases awkward races burst in many shapes and forms and just overall really weird permutations of rice and hyper rice and LNs. And despite all of that, the star rating is 4.33. How miraculous! We are blessed by this Osumania star rating system just like that. <laughs>
a bit of a backstory here. There, my intention to make stage three an or an unorthodox hybrid was kind of. Of because I want to contrast it with other more active skill sets like Jax, Streams, Stamina, Density, Coordination. And I suggested Jurin to use a classical piano song. And this song is quite the wise choice. It, it's giving the lifetime kind of vibe, which increases the trickiness in accuracy, and there's also the rhythm complexity in this composition. So, it's the matter of both song choice and the mapper's style in general that creates this really irregular map that's sure to provide one hell of a ride for all players here. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I think also just because like uh, the total note count is a bit lower, it also kind of puts a lot more of a strain in your accuracy if you get like a few grades here and there as well. That is correct. So, I mean, I... Next file, it's gonna be... It's going to be a really fun... I think I think everyone's gonna be surprised by my score. I'm sorry, Snow. I I used my score in the three play after everything. <laughs> but yeah, don't be fooled by the score that I set on this file. Right here's the next one. This is the LM density pick, and if you think that me getting nine eighty one isn't scary enough, then I don't know what's gonna make you even more afraid. Yeah, this app is really tricky in general. 4.52 stars. What can go wrong, right? Sure. I mean, I feel like a lot of these maps are like really all over the place in terms of star rating. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Yeah, uh, honestly, it's not too bad, but once you kind of get into like the main part of this, it's gonna be really hard to just kind of control your accuracy because even in here, you do kind of get a little bit of a trickier uh, LN part in terms of actually if you aren't too used to it. Your usual LN density map is map actually has a surprisingly low star rating, but ironing is certainly super tricky for physicality focus long note map <laughs> not only an emphasis on holding strain but also your transition speed as well because it's not just typical on inverses it's a mix of some different LN lengths typically one fourth and one two and this mix creates many patterning permutations that requires some degree of transitioning skills from the players as well. Might be a bit of a release map, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I would say this is kind of a little bit like almost like a wild card in a sense, just because of how uh, some of these elements kind of act like a lot of like staggered releases in a way, which I would say is. Pretty much the sole reason that this map is like just really difficult to get really high accuracy on because even if you can handle this it's still gonna be just really tricky just alone from that accuracy side because i would say a map like this probably isn't like the worst out of like all of them in terms of physicality it's just that kind of release aspect kind of coming in and out yeah that's i will say though though to the viewers who might be afraid that the score is Hey, don't worry, this was a no warm up score, okay? It's okay. It's okay. I know you're gonna be able to do really good in this file. I mean, the Snow... map shouldn't be that hard. Yes. But, like, just focus. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, Snow has 980, which is just really. Now, let's go to stage 5. 
And this... Well, this is the stage number is indeed in the title. This is stage 5. Well, 5s. You know... Under track. Just, just me. It just makes me wonder if the name of the song is Fives, and then the stage number is five. I don't know. Does it mean that we have two, more than one file? I don't know. It, we don't have time to think about. It. Let's play. This map is gonna be just really difficult in general. I mean, starting off, you do see these triplets come in, but uh, you're gonna see a lot of these like triplets and just mini jacks kind of throughout the map and it's going to be a little bit tricky to kind of control your accuracy I would say just because it isn't like straightforward jacks you will see kind of some jump jacks in between here but even then these triplets going into doubles are really tricky just to hold good accuracy on them. Jacks are supposed to be easy to act but the tricky patterning that the mapper gave here proves to be a big challenge for finger independency as well so there's not only the physicality aspect but also finger control and we are transitioning into the speed section so this map not only has weird techie jack but also streams speed streams yeah, and, and you will go on I mean, I would say the transition between these jacks into speed also kind of makes this map a lot harder than your typical average speed map just because when you're kind of jacking and then going into a speed section like this, you kind of have to change how you play. And I would say this map, it tests a lot of your transitioning skills between these jacks and speed maps, which I would say a lot of people would maybe consider polar opposite skill sets. I indeed think the same. They are quite the quite the opposite in skill sets and it does also eliminate one freak players who are only good at one skill set which is indeed a good thing it encourages all randomness in players while also providing some leeway in terms of accuracy and a clear physicality advantage yeah, I definitely agree with you on that, but like even then, I would say a map like this, it's already just difficult to get good accuracy on just because of how fast these streams are. And I would say uh, even like a map like this is a little bit draining in terms of physicality, especially if you're trying really hard to get good accuracy. I could easily see a few misses coming in between these streams just because not only the transition aspect, but also the stamina factor that comes in with a bit of a more physical map like this one. Yeah, this map just got everything in an interesting mixed way. Jazz and streams are the two main skill sets, and then you get stamina as a side bonus. But speaking of all rounded news, this final qualifier stage will indeed be an extra step up in the in the name of all randomness of Mania. This is ultimate. You are a god, but the gods fight, and so you have to battle yours way up to victory this is the mixed hybrid map so i intended to include as many skill sets as possible and we are starting off with this aggressive on coordination section there it's also very high speed too not yeah, just coordination, but also for physicality, and we're just into right kind of. 
Yeah, I mean, that first section is already somewhat difficult enough to put actually on, but I think if you just played a few times, it's not too bad, especially as you kind of see uh, somewhat similar patterns throughout here, and you'll kind of see that uh, this would be a lot of like different patterns like Lot said, and it's definitely going to be testing a lot of different skill sets, but I would say the way this map kind of flows is really fun. Thank you, I'm honored. And uh, we are now into the more technical focus um, section. So we've got those high hit reverse shields, we've got graces, we've also got right spurs. Everything is just switching constantly in between. And now you get to transition into this more dense element that is the focus for it. But of course, there are still outliers in between those density sections. So. You do not get a break. Sorry, you will. Yeah, I mean, another thing with. Hello? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was saying before my mic cut off, but something with this. Even for its like physicality, it's strangely comfortable. I guess I did intend to make the patterning somewhat intuitive in terms of flow, but at the same time, the sheer amount of transitions in the map will be very hard for the players to focus on. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that we're into a more jack focus section in the map, so I guess you still get graces and bursts. But, yeah, this is a somewhat prominent change in design of the map right now. Yeah, I mean, like I said, a lot of it's pretty comfortable, but there are some mini jacks uh, here and there, like shields, that I could easily see people missing on, just because of how fast they can be at times, but other than oh that... Oh my god, this obvious shoot hell. Yeah, I mean, besides something like this that I have a lot of shields, I would say like the rest of this is fairly comfortable, especially compared to maybe something like, uh, How many shields do they have to put here? Oh my god. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I guess stage that is more awkward because of the raw transitions and the... Yeah irregular raw patterning but this one i guess i intend to make everything flow somewhat well to combat against the um the sheer amount of transitions yeah but, okay. i mean throughout the qualifiers you do see like a really big difference in terms of like what skill sets are trying to be tested which does provide a lot of variety and can make uh practice just a little bit better we are done with the 4K map we showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed our say this the show right in front of your eyes. Just that. <laughs> well, those are hard. Those are actually those are actually really hard charts. I mean, for really difficult. Stuff. I would say they're strangely really fun just to practice in general, even like outside of the qualifiers perspective. Honestly, all mappers did a really good job at making our qualifiers map cool. Well, I think now that we're done with your side of the tournament, I think it's time for our side. Um to show the charts hey hey arj hello everybody welcome to five <laughs> right. yeah well it's time for the people who like to smash seven keys on their keyboard and s like um we're literally saying the word smash here in a more literal sense here really especially that um in comparison to what we had in 2023, mas mahirap ang ating qualifier set this year, actually. I think, ano lang, there's like a certain stage that may have um, decreased in difficulty, per se, pero it's still dependent on um, 
it's kind of dependent on how people view a certain skill set. Um, that's why, that's why like the difficulty change might be overwhelming a bit. Uh, map pool structure for the qualifiers on 7K is still the same as that we had from ever since 2022. So for first stage, we will be having our primary jack technical chart. So we have BPM Ichigoku. Doki Doki Parirarara, a chart by Lenpai, and it's been a while since we had Lenpai uh, do a qualifier chart for for PHNM. So this chart is practically what you'd expect for what do you expect from a classic Lenpai chart? Uh, like lots of very well structured core jack usages here. And not to mention, like, there's some pretty technical sections as here as well. Like, you have some of these um, occasional one port bursts, which I think every single player should at least be able to negotiate. Uh, should be able to negotiate through pretty much. I mean, looking at this map purely, it is generally a core jack chart. But, yeah, considering this is jack slash slash burst uh yeah stuff like burst in core jacks tend to decrease your or tend to harm your accuracy in the long run so um if you are a core jack main uh, kind of like me um the core jacks will be readable on your end, but when it comes to the burst portions that's where accuracies start to dip depending on your depending on your place that but even even though they can decrease your accuracy, it does look comfy. It it, it looks comfier than usual. So and the usual stairs or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the thing about uh, these qualifiers sets really is that um, you still want to maintain that level of comfort, really, especially that uh, the qualifiers aren't exactly designed to be like top of the top level uh relative to the tournament you're usually looking at um some something like um at least for this speech nationals like we're looking at around quarterfinals level so this is like this is like the stuff you'd expect at around that uh at around that round but yeah uh you really, like if there's any charter you really want to look at it's lenpai who you could really trust with this job but on for the most part i think this might be one of the higher scoring charts uh, throughout the entire qualifier for all of the qualifier for this entire qualifier set uh, especially for those who are more well versed in 7k in general like basically the people who would be who we would be expecting to top the leaderboards come next week it's probably the least spread out score I think I predict probably the least spread out scores throughout qualifiers so it's pretty much going to be a battle of ratio. Again, with Gorjak stuff, you know, ratio, ratio lang talaga siya. So, speaking of ratio, we're going to move on to the next chart where we don't expect anyone to maintain really good ratio unless they're very well, like, we're pretty much good enough in LN control. So we have Junichi Masada's Viridian City. I think this is a... I think this is a remaster from one of the more famous uh, music uh, Pokemon music remaster YouTube people. But yeah, this is a chart by Maxus. And for this chart in particular, um, this is actually pretty different from a lot of the qualifier charts, uh, a lot of the stage twos that we that we had in PHNAT. While I'd say this is a bit more straightforward than let's say uh waterland or jolly roger bay uh than yoake no uta this one on the other hand focuses more on your finger independence and also your release timings and there are actually some pretty tricky to read sections here as well but since the song the song is pretty slow like you might you might as well take your time with the reading here Though I guess this might be one of those charts really that um, if you grind this too much, you might actually be scoring lower uh, the, for the more you play this. So I think that's like a, a point of warning really for the players who are looking into playing 
looking into scoring high on this one. So another thing about this chart, like the music itself is, I think uh, as far as I know, loops around two and a half times. And the patterns do get a bit harder as the loops go go up. Like you're already seeing some sort of increase in density here. Like this is where the more coordination part of LN control starts to kick in. Yeah, I personally think this kind of patterns, like that specific portion of the chart, it's really hard to get accuracy on. Uh, albeit, you know, simple mapping and stuff. But still, um, again, with LN coordination type beat, uh, yeah, it's like if you know how LNs work, right? If you have if you hold it too long, yeah, you'd get like 200s or 100s or something. That's your that's pretty much your challenge when it comes to LN coordination, albeit. It's not like a real 14 type of difficulty, but you know, it's like a portion of that. <laughs> Almost a portion of that. Because again, we're not seeing like, uh, we're not seeing like really dense inverse here, but we're just seeing coordinations and control here and there. And I think that was a miss that I, I see. Yeah, shout out, shout out to our replay here, Makiba. And actually, just to note, there is actually a mini full LN, like a mini inverse section in this chart if I did it if I did not misread this during test playing. So yeah, players have to pay attention very well to the releases in this chart. Like it actually yeah. does get to Avril levels of Yeah, design. it does look like Avril 14 here. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it does look like Avril 14 at the end. But yeah, there you go. Really that's Viridian City. Our LN control coordination chart. Uh, well, for the next chart, I let you be the one to explain. All right. Okay. For stage three, um, yes, uh, this may be the first th time that I um, charted for the qualifiers for PH Nats, but this is Dimrain 47, the prototype. So this is the chord stream pick for the qualifiers. And uh, based here on my mapping experience, this is 6.28 stars. <laughs> but don't let the SR fool you because it's really not that. It's really just chord heavy. <laughs> remember last year we had uh, PARTY, if I remember correctly, and that was mostly charted as if it was a bracket chart. But for this time, uh, we decided, decided to minimize that and <laughs> resorted to heavy chord, uh, chord, chord. Sorry, I resorted to heavier chord streams there you go so um also if you didn't catch that one earlier the background does not look like it came from the internet but well yes it came from me so yeah you know who i am so i'm pretty much a photographer i did take that picture by myself um yeah so yeah i had to do everything from background to charting in one go and anyways, uh, actually, originally, the chart was supposed to be brackets, like double stairs kind of beat. But they were like, nah, I, I don't think it feels comfortable at all. So I was like, nah, let's let's switch it to something more simpler or something that uh, something that the players can have fun charting on it, uh, playing on it. I think, I guess, in my opinion, but who knows? Maybe this might be a strong side for some chord screen players or it might not. Like, the, the, the one thing I really want to uh, emphasize here is that this chart, like the initial version of this, is actually way denser and has, um, and you mentioned like there's like brackets, like there's like a lot of denim, uh, denim brackets here, uh, the one, three, five, seven, two, two, yeah. four, six, uh, bracket. Like, yeah, those, it did those are really hard. hard. Oh, those yeah. are really hard. Really especially, hard. This, especially at this BPM. Yep. I did kind of replicate that one part from We Love Llama. The ending of We Love Llama. That kind of stuff. I did kind of replicate that at the densest part of the chart. But like, yeah, I was like, nah, let's keep it like, uh, let's just keep it like, what? Chord stream heavier rather than being, uh, rather than being a um, bracket stuff. But anyways, we go to the ending and yeah. Pretty much your typical dense heavy chord stream chart. 
for like for once for a change we didn't resort to brackets you know, like one thing that uh, we might as well mention is that um like especially for those players who are like in the mid to the low mid to lower level in the player spectrum uh this chart you might have to be careful especially with your stamina if you plan on trying to get a really good score on this one uh the basically the final third of the chart actually gets ridiculously dense yep so if you are capable of like bms 12 or 13 kind of uh kind of charting i think this is good for you but if hindi eh, you might as well work you really need to work on your stamina on this one. Otherwise, you know, it might wreck your entire play on this. But yeah, anyways, uh, I think it's time to move on to the next map. The next stage, which is stage four. Banya, Beethoven Virus. So well, we have some pump it up, pump it up music here, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say that. We have some pump it up music here. And Shout out to Sam. Parang yeah. siya pala kay, ano, kay Toyohime yung inuntog yung ulo niya sa pad <laughs> habang yeah. yung style. Anyways, <laughs> let's carry on. So yeah, this is LN Density and as for experience, um... Sorry. Oh, well, let, let me pick you up. Uh, this chart is by Shadowkun making their uh, Nats charting debut in in this qualifier round and one thing that i have to mention and i think a lot of the people who play tested this will agree this chart mind block this chart can heavenly mind block you if you're not careful enough and you and you're actually seeing like some of these um o2 jam ish um patterning for the like o2 jam style patterning for this chart it's a, it's a, not your typical LN density feature where it's basically just a chord streams but LN. Like this actually puts the long in the long note. So the players have to be pretty careful with the release timings here as well. And be is basically like there's a level of LN control that has, that is also need needed for this chart for the most part. Yeah, with a mu music like this, you might as well uh, step to the beat while you're playing this. I could definitely hear for some footsteps of someone playing this one. Alam mo no, naiinis pa rin ako sa single seven. Ito yung may yung may paikot na pattern. Lindig yun. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I remember that. But yeah, that's your typical. Uh, that will be your LN density. Um. Yeah, I think I I missed out a lot of there because you know kaubo ako. Content, so my bad. Well, I I think um we'll have you do the next chart then. Huh? What's the next chart? Okay, stage five. We have Pastasa, Sanamiri Smoke featuring Kondo. Okay, so this is gonna be our mixed rice pick. Uh, counting it at counting it at five point sixteen stars with HP eight OD eight. So yeah, when you talk about like qualifiers tier kind of mixed rice, so it's definitely what you'd expect. Um. You're, you're gonna see some core jacks here, you're gonna see some bursts, you're gonna see the double streams. Like, that is your usual uh, mixed rice pick. And especially Lenpai, the, Len, the a Lenpai chart, yeah. Uh, this is the kind of things that Lenpai is really good at, mapping at mixed rice. And yeah, it may look on the, on the far, like, kung malayo, kung titingnan natin malayo, it does not, it, it looks really hard. But with enough practice, you could actually get this to work like just fine. Like I know people, I think for as per experience from other tourney players, for some reason Mixerize is the one that they tend to avoid in 7 key because of how probably dense it would be in in like the later rounds or something. But yeah, um so yeah, you'd definitely expect some breaks right here and there. And not to mention, this is like a minute a minute and 46 seconds. Uh, a minute and 46 seconds of uh, charting. So to me personally, I think this would be um, the quali uh, the qualifier. Uh, sorry, this would be the player's favorite kind of a favorite chart, I guess. I think in my opinion, but you know, when it comes to mixed rice at quality's level, you know. Stuff like that. You, you just want to enjoy the music. 
yeah here we go like here's like the i think for me the hard the harder part of the chart Yeah, if you, can, if, you can, if you can work around this one, you, you definitely love. You'll definitely love this chart. Also, I like the, I like the background. The smiling. Four place. Oh, four place. place. I forgot the shit. Yeah, four place. Well, I am so mad. Anyways, that's gonna be your next prize. Pasta, pasta, sa sinamarisno. Okay. Now, before we go, before we go to the next chart, I'd just like to emphasize one thing. Um. Like there's like a lot of charts in the 7k pool that had to be nerfed uh, before that had to be nerfed going into into this round. I and, want you to guess and, 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 and matters. This one in particular had to be really nerfed um, ju- just due to how physical it actually is. And honestly, like even with the nerfs, like there's like a decent level of physicality that you really need to put in to be able to get a decent score. So here comes stage six. Alright, final yeah, chameleon. Qualifies final qualifies, 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 final flash flight a chart by Lee Ju. And Star rating wise, if the rest are just like five stars or below, this one is 6.61. Yep, this is so far the highest SR uh, among the six of them. And yes, I mean, given it is a tiebreaker styled hybrid, yeah, it, it, it is definitely the hardest one. It's the hardest pick in the entire quali map pool. It's the only chart na you actually need to warm up on um there's like a lot of stuff that uh a lot of stuff that Lijo actually put in here and uh shout out to Soto Makiba for helping um making sure this chart is a bit more appropriate for the level um we have for the qualifiers but for the most part like especially with these uh especially with like the pre- pretty heavy bursts as well like as- aside from those like this is actually Fairly straightforward. If you like, if you squint just enough. Fun fact: Before the nerfs, this used to be seven point thirty-five. <laughs> this used to be seven stars. It was so heavily nerfed. If you, oh my god! Hey, like it's actually hard. Like it's actually hard. Uh, you're given a pretty short break section here, and then you're going to be thrown back into the. Into like the more physical part of the chart, though. I I, I do want to say uh, I think the second half of this chart might be easier than the first half, mostly because of how how like how, how do I say this? Like the second half is more reliant on your cord streaming ability for the most part, especially with uh, especially with the LNs here. It, it, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like a core scene, but in a way it does play like a core scene. Right? I think I think that's like the, uh, this is like the more most straightforward section really of the chart. Just yeah, don't get... also, that, no, also there are mini jacks right there, and not to mention we have inverses. We have inverses chat. <laughs> Again, uh, this is what we have. This is what we get for having Camellia in the qualifiers. Like this is the one map again. Like like you said, like hindi hindi to yung tipong hindi iti yung tipong na dapat mag warm up ka before you play it. Yeah, cause I've heard a lot of seven key players playing in qualies. They just play in like agad agad. Like they just wake up and then they play qualifiers. This is the case where you don't wanna do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you, need to, you, need to, you need to actually warm up for the for this one in particular. Like, it, but yeah, um, that is the OC Philippines Nationals 2024 Mania 7K Qualifiers map pool. And that also concludes the map pool showcase that we have set for tonight. Um, so how's everyone doing? Like, um, You guys have any, any words to say? I don't know, man. Map pool too hard. Please don't overlook map. <laughs> Well, uh, at least for me, 
if there's anything I have to say, I mean, it's definitely going to be challenging for a lot of players, regardless of what skill range you're in. I expect people to have difficulties and all that. Um, I mean, these qualifiers aren't made to be easy by any means. So if ever you get a score that you're not that happy with, uh, don't be too disappointed because these qualifiers were meant to be very difficult for you. Um, I guess if I have something to say, I do hope that everyone will be able to perform at their very best. I hope that everyone's going to be able to set the scores that they want on qualifiers, maybe set a PB or two. But yeah, just do your best in general. And don't forget um, to be there on the designated time of your qualifier schedules. Speaking of which, Surf, I think you can add more to that one. Well, I was I was about to say, um, like just a few reminders before we end, before we wrap this baby up. Like first things first, uh, qualifier schedules, uh, will will be done by will be done by the players. Like we will be we will be sending a out a Google form where you will be able to set your schedules for your qualifier runs. Uh, just note that while we are providing a pretty big, uh, pretty wide uh, range of times, if you do need any special schedules, you may you may inform us via the uh, via the reschedule channel in the player server. And another thing as well, uh, the map pools and all relevant stuff will be uploaded by the charters. Uh, within within the next few moments, some of them might take a few hours, uh, depending on the availability of the charter. Though we will be providing the map pool showcase versions of the charts as an alternative if uh, if the stuff hasn't been uploaded just yet. And another thing, um, another thing for those na first time pa maglalaro ng ano maglalaro sa P, ano sa ng PH lots. Hindi pa po ito yung part na mago 1v1 kayo. Um, you have to get to the top 16 of the qualifiers in your respective key mode to to get to that part of the tournament. So good luck and have fun. If we ha- there there may be additional reminders, please stay tuned na lang po sa announcements channel. 